Hello YouTube fans, my name is Pix, and I'm here to show you the real fix on how to install the Barge Tail on Windows 7 Ultimate Edition. The Barge Tail is an awesome and funny game that came out back in 2005. I just recently purchased this game since I've heard so much about it. I went to Amazon.com and bought it on there for around $16. It's the original series with all uh, that contains all three classic games. The game itself is about a sarcastic bard who loves to get money and girls, which usually turns his adventures and travels into a lot of excitement. If you ever heard of this game, then you know it was only out for Windows 2000 and Windows XP. But today, I'm going to show you how to install this classic onto Windows 7 Ultimate. I'm sure that other series of the Windows 7 OS's will work just the same. First of all, you're going to need a few things in order for this to work. You're going to need a WinZip extractor that allows you to extract .cat files. The knowledge on how to use your command prompt and how to run programs in administrative mode. Last but not least, you're going to need a lot of patience. Now, like most of you who are watching this video, I had no clue as to what I was doing when it came to installing an old game onto a new OS that was not compatible. So I had to go online, do all my research, and find my answers. I've used websites such as Google, the forums, blogs, and also YouTube. I've probably found about three or four, maybe even five, that actually helped me out a lot. And if you're like me, this tutorial will help you understand a ton of things that I never knew about as far as the basic knowledge for a computer. For example, how to use your command prompt, navigating through your directories. I'm going to go through all these steps that you need to know right from the very beginning all the way up to the time that you start to play the game. Let's get started, shall we? Alright, it's good to know and good to have a few websites pulled up so that way you can just reference back to what you're doing and which steps that you're on. So here's where I started. We started off with a Google search. We got Windows 7. Can we run Windows 7? Or can we run a barge tail on Windows 7? And we came up with a search that can you run this on Windows 7, the barge tail? It's on NeoSeeker's forums. Uh, that's www.neoseeker.com. And uh, those forums will have some things on there. Um, instructions on how you can set yours up. Depending on what series of Windows 7 you're running, uh, you may only have to run it in compatibility mode. Um, others will tell you that you have to go through your command prompt. And if you're like me, that's where you have issues at because I had no clue what I was doing when it came to the command prompt. Uh, so in doing so, I went back to uh, Google and I went to this website. I N S A N I T dot net. And uh, that is a personal blog of someone who installed this game for Windows 7. And the title of it was The Barge Tale Windows 7 or Bust. And I currently went to this site, and basically he was telling, telling me two different ways to install this game. One was basically have a Windows XP box handy that already had the game installed and all you had to do was basically copy the files over onto your Windows 7 and uh, the second method was unpackage the files from the CD manually and uh, install it that way and also using your command prompt system. Now going back to uh, the command prompt uh, basically, the way I had to use the command prompt, I went to computerhope.com and uh, it basically told me uh, which prompts and commands to use. And uh, there was a second page that gave me the direct uh, file names of what to use and how to use it. And I just simply used that. Uh, during the process of in th installing this game as I followed some instructions that I found online on how to install it. 
Now, as far as the game itself, what we're going to do is uh, we basically go from taking the game out of the box and putting it into the drive. Once you put it into the drive, you're going to have an installation box that pops up. Once that installation box pops up, you're just going to simply click off of it, like so. And then you're going to go into your start menu, go to computer, and then right here where you see your devices with removable storage, you're going to, you're going to find your game sitting right there. You're going to right click on it, and then you're going to simply just press open. Now, when you're looking through these files, you're going to see disk1, some might say disk1.cab. You're going to click on these, you're going to right click on them actually, and then you're going to press open. With the WinZip file that I was telling you that you're going to have, I just have an uh, evaluation copy. You're going to highlight all three that show up first. And then you're going to put Extract 2, and I don't know if you can see this, hopefully you can. Uh, for me, I put it on my D storage file, which is my hard drive D, um, and then I put it up under Program Files x86. Now, if you only have one drive, you can put it up under your uh, C drive. Uh, but for me, I, like I said, I put it up under my D drive and up under my programs 86 and you will see it right there the bars tell the original series okay now I'm just going to X off of this X off of this once you have the first file extracted you're going to eject the disk and you're going to put in disk 2 and basically do the same instead of disk 1.cab or disk 1 you're going to see disk 2, you're going to right click, you're going to open that one and extract it the same exact way. You're going to do this for all six files, or all six disks that came with the game. And then once you're done extracting the files, on disk 5 and disk 6, you're going to have two sound files. You're going to take those two sound files... from their folder itself into the RES file and uh, I believe that stands for resident or residential file I'm not sure of which uh, right here is where you find your sound file and what I did is I basically took sound, er, the sound file on disk 6 and placed it inside of the sound file on disk 5 and then disk 5 I placed inside the RES file right here. Now, going back into the sound files and looking at the very bottom of the sound inside of the sound of that one, you're going to find a file named WBCWIN, and that is an application file that actually extracts your sound files into the actual game. And I'll explain that once we get into the command prompt system.